D.D. Gregorius has hit 20 or more home runs in a season three times so far in his MLB career. He's finished in the top 20 in AL MVP award voting twice. But this video isn't about any of that. It's about MLB player D.D. Gregorius off the baseball field. D.D. Gregorius' stats as a player are far from the most fascinating and unique things about him, and they're not what inspired this video. Because D.D. happens to be one of the most interesting and talented people in the world, even when you take out the fact that he's a pro athlete. Here at Stark Raving Sports, some priorities for us is making sports and athletes even more interesting. And D.D. Gregorius is a great example of a person who deserves the recognition for his many, many talents. And we're going to show you why, right after a quick message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Audible. If you've never heard of Audible, every, everyone knows what Audible is, come on. But just in case you haven't, Audible is the best audio entertainment platform ever conceived. They have thousands upon thousands of audiobooks and even podcasts you can access at the press of a button. And then another button and then probably a bit of typing. <laughs> Use your ears like you mean it by going to audible.com forward slash SRS or by texting SRS to 500 500 for a free audiobook of your choice and an equally free 30 day trial. Personally, I've been listening to the TMG podcast through Audible. Noel Cody, I know you guys like sports. Please, please answer me. I'm your biggest fan. Audible has so many categories. Whether you're into sports, <laughs> like, like any of you guys would be into sports, all right, come on. Comedy, true crime, mystery, even finance and business if you're really trying to nerd out. I cannot recommend Audible enough, so if you're as interested as I am, click the link in the description or go to audible.com forward slash SRS or text SRS to 500 500. Again, that's audible.com forward slash SRS or text SRS to 500 500. Thank you Audible so much for supporting our channel. Now let's get back to Sir DD. DD Gregorius is basically the Donald Glover of baseball with how many unique passions and talents he has while also still having an extremely successful MLB career. So let's rewind the clock a bit and show how DD Gregorius became such a fascinating human being. Didi was born in Amsterdam on February 18th, 1990, and you may have picked up on that if you ever saw him playing for the Netherlands in the World Baseball Classic. Makes sense, seeing as how Didi was raised by an entire family of ballplayers. His dad, brother, grandfather, and mother all played pro baseball or softball at some point in their career. Like the funny story my dad used to tell me when I was in the Netherlands that two, year, two years old I was already on the field with him and my brother. And I used to walk around with a small bat with a baseball in my hand. You know, people toss, like, throw the ball to you, and you're supposed to throw it back. As a two-year-old, you're not supposed to throw it hard. And it used to break people's glasses, like, right in the middle. <laughs> also, another little fun fact, him, his father, and his brother all share the same nickname, Didi. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, now that we have a little bit of the background out of the way, let's get into some of the exceedingly interesting things that Mr. Gregorius, sorry, Sir Gregorius, I'll explain that a little bit later, gets up to off the field. Favor identifying what they need before the trade deadline, right? This dude has got to be one of the most motivated people I've ever seen in my entire life. Just the way he carries himself, all the things he does, and the way he explains his motivations for doing these things shows the hardest work ethic you can possibly have. For example, this guy knows Dutch, Papiamento, I, I probably butchered that pronunciation, sorry. English, Spanish, and can quote, keep up a conversation in Japanese. As he can keep a conversation going in Japanese. Most people have a hard time keeping up with just learning one other language, and Didi knows almost five. Bruh. He also seems to be a bit of an adrenaline junkie, as he's been seen doing things such as bungee jumping, <laughs> zip lining. That's like my fourth or fifth time zip lining, so. <laughs> and oh yeah, swimming with sharks. And I don't mean he tried to pitch a company. When you lock it, an experienced intruder can get in in about five kicks. Alex, show them how easy this is. Come on, Alex, kick it hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks. The sharks have lost it. No, no, literal sharks. As far as talents go, he has a ton of them, other than just being an amazing ball player. One of his main pursuits is photography. You can see him frequently at games, practices, pretty much anywhere snapping pictures. And it's not like he's at the level of a kid who just got his first disposable camera from his mom. He takes some pretty good photos. I'll put a couple on screen so you can see what I'm talking about. Another talent he picked up along the way is piano. On October 17th of 2018, Didi went under the knife for a teensy weensy little surgery called Tommy John. You probably never heard of it, it's a bit of a niche underground thing. Anyway, during his recovery process, he decided, hey, piano's cool, I wanna play piano, I'm gonna play piano. 
So he decided to buy a piano and started to teach himself how to play piano. I'm like, I'm never saying piano again. He doesn't know how to read sheet music or play a song by ear. So the way he teaches himself a new song is he repeatedly watches someone else play it and memorizes it from them. It makes sense though, seeing as how everyone learns differently and this is just the best way he's found to pick up knowledge. Oh yeah, remember that thing I said at the beginning of the video about him being called Sir and not Mr? There's a reason for that. Your Twitter handle includes Sir in it. Can you explain to me why you're called Sir? He was quite literally knighted. That's right, DD Gregorius is an actual living, breathing knight. Explains why his at on Instagram is Sir DDG18. I mean, he doesn't necessarily crusade for the Holy Land or anything, but it's a pretty interesting story nonetheless. The way he tells it in this interview on screen is he was playing for a Dutch team in Panama in 2011. He and his team went 15 and 1, obviously making them the champions. He says immediately after that, they traveled to the Netherlands where, as he says, And instead of handing us money and all that stuff, they decided to knight us. So for me, that was, uh, was really great. You can tell he gets a real kick out of this whole situation. He's obviously very proud of this accomplishment, and to be fair, I mean, who wouldn't be? These are some pieces of artwork of Didi's Philly teammates that Didi posted on Instagram after the Phillies won. Didi makes these himself, by the way. Yep, he's also an artist. That's right, among all these other things he seems to exceed at, he's also a pretty good artist. I'll put a couple more pieces on screen. It's incredible how much this guy wants to know, is learning, and knows already. Also, see these drawings of Didi, Derek Jeter, and Mariano Rivera? Wanna guess who made them? I think you can figure this one out. Didi's artistic talents aren't even limited to drawing either. He's also dabbled in animation because of course he has. And on the R2C2 podcast, Ryan Rucco told a story about Didi taking it upon himself to learn TV production and video editing one off season for the folks at the Yankees TV network, while also being the stud starting shortstop for the Yankees. I should also mention that if you've ever noticed he's always had his mask on since the pandemic started, even while he's actively playing on the field, it's because he has a kidney condition that increases the risk of COVID complications. So yeah, that's why he never takes it off. Good on you, Didi. Stay safe, my guy. It really is something special to find someone that seems like such a hardworking, respectable, wholesome guy who also happens to be pretty dang good at baseball. I cannot stress enough how inspirational it is to both watch him play and just hear what he has to say in general, whether it be on an interview, Instagram post, Twitter post, anything. If there's one thing you could take away from this video, I'd recommend it be taking a look at Didi and using his stories, his experiences, his work ethic as motivation for your own life. Maybe pick up that book you never finished reading, or listen to it on Audible. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate every single one of you. The channel's been doing insane lately and it's just really humbling to be seeing all this just support we've been getting over the past couple months. It's it's really, it's just, it's really been humbling. Also, we're getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you really like this video and you would like to support the channel, go down there and uh, drop a sub. Thanks, appreciate you. Also, I love you forever.